ye mo obi bia kwa ba de ba smart gana update so we a hey, news update for for kra ne de ba be som abusia ashanti regional chairman chairman won to me aya de bi pa wa bra okoko pm e wo amanone toronto canada ano odi simbi e to ja ho abusia na ye interesting a je se o monitor chairman won to me e wo video yi mu a throughout his speech no e ha de se adibisi me nim se se wan so so ko na koko hwe video na wa bro de nim se me tu jana obi hu a abusia ni a obi hu bia me share o se wo de comment e be to comment section na se am obi nzuzu aken kan e hu a de property a won nzuzu hu from the speech ni hu abusia ye kwa kuti no ni eto so mienu no so e ade se dr mahamadu ba omi ana nkasa nso so kasa e a che se wo de ni vision a wo de bre o man gana e ni nhihye ya wo de ato ho no ma wo de ba na wo de beto o man gana ni mo a e bi be so o man gana so ama bi nso so aso sa abru chief fo no so so na o mo so so wa abru chira o mo ehun o mo se gana fo e make policies ni implementation no e ade si ye yi o mo e free sa nyomo nyomo ni enti abusu a wa chira o mo mu ni vision a wo ba na wo de to no ma obi a so be beneficiary na enko ba se en yi mu bi aba ene ye nyoma osusu se wo de agu akwan ma sa manfo no to aba ma no instead of his opponent a e be bo o man gana na ye nyina yetimi akwa enim abusu a ye enti ye o mo mra tell somebody behind you tell him we are winning 2024 elections Tell him we are winning the 2024 elections. It's non negotiable. We are winning. We are winning the elections. We are winning. We are winning the elections. Let me tell you, Canada, our leader, Dr. Mahmoud Bawomia, and the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, and our flag bearer. He has a vision and he has a plan for Ghana. He has a vision for us to win the election 2024. At the moment, yesterday and today I had the opportunity to drive all or some of the major roads of Canada. And I have seen a lot of development in Canada. And I can say that when His Excellency, the Vice President, become the President of the Republic of Ghana, all our roles, all our roles, we are going to challenge the Canada. We are going to challenge them. All our roles is going to be tied. You see, our leader, four days ago, I was with the president, Nanadu Dankwa Kufuadu. This is what he told me. He said, in MPP now, nobody is powerful than our vice president, the leader of MPP, and our flag bearer. He says since from 1992, nobody has had three important positions like this. So, he is going to use it for us to break the eight. All this power he has consolidated. He is going to use this power for us to win the 2024 elections. If all this will be possible, we will need your help. You have to call somebody for somebody to call somebody at home. You see, since from the COVID time, 2020, Ukraine and the Russia war, we all are aware that the whole world has changed. But sometimes, the way our opponents are propagating, telling people that it's the only Ghana that has, had, that has facing the problem is not true. Ghana is better. Ghana, we have peace. Ghana, Ghana, we have peace and we have jobs for the boys. And, and I'm going to tell everybody that we are going to work hard and win power 2025 so that all our youth can get jobs from 2025 upwards. 
May God bless Canada. May God bless Canada. You are 32 years you are celebrating. May God use it to bring power to MPP. And we are going to work hard in Ghana. We are going to work hard. But remember, you are called to Ghana also is very important. Because a lot of people are depending on you, the money you will send at home. All of you have a houses in a home. So call them. That is the only one political party. It's the only MPP who can bring po good policies and good programs. You remember National Health Insurance, do you remember? Do you remember one district, one factory, do you remember? Are you aware of Agenda 111? You know, and I'm telling you, do you know almighty free education? Do you know that now in Ghana, your country, my country, our country, now all the students are benefiting from free laptops. Are you aware? No country can develop without one political party will stay in power for long. So the MPP, we should work hard to break the eight so that our, our country can compete Canada. May God bless you all. I love you. I love you. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey! Hey! Ah, Murano or down. Hey! I'm a believer that with God all things are possible. It is possible. I believe that Ghana can be an advanced country. I have demonstrated that we can do even better than the advanced countries. If we put our minds to it and work hard, I'm not intimidated by technology. I use technology to help our people. And so this is the direction I want to move Ghana into, to, to, to really uh, believe in ourselves, to take Ghana on the journey of possibilities. A lot of the things that we have done, many people thought we couldn't do it. But we have done it. We've made it possible. But we can do more. I want us to focus on agriculture. Agriculture is a major area that we can do a lot more in if we move into commercial, mechanized, and irrigation-driven agriculture. That is a big, big area where we can you know, increase output and bring in a lot of technology uh, satellite technology, sensors, irrigation, all the chemicals, uh, the inputs, and so on. So agriculture is definitely one area I want us to focus on, to increase output and reduce food prices. The second area I want us to focus on is to bring down the cost of electricity by less reliance on fuel-generated power and more reliance on solar power. I want to move Ghana into solar power generation. Solar power generation, I want Ghana in the next four years to add 2,000 megawatts of solar power. That is more than half our consumption. And if we do that and we add a Kosombo to it, then we will really be relying more on the renewables. And that will really dramatically bring down the cost of power. And this is where we want to do. But I just don't want to say we are going solar and therefore we want to import solar panels. No, I want us to manufacture solar panels in Ghana. We are not going to import them. The technology exists. We'll set up the factory. Because when you are doing 2,000 megawatts, that's a lot of solar panels. It's better for you to manufacture them yourselves. And then you can export to the sub-region and we will become a hub. In terms of public transport, I want Ghana to move away uh, from fuel-driven public transportation to electric vehicles. We are moving into electric vehicles. That will reduce the cost of transport for our people. 
Today, if something happens in the Middle East, fuel prices go up and our people have to face higher prices of transport. But if we bring in electric vehicles, which we are going to do, the cost of transport will reduce by at least 40%. And that is going to be big. And so we are bringing in, uh, we are trying to bring in 200 buses this year for proof of concept so that the public will see that in fact, if we go electric, the cost of transport will come down. And this is what we are doing in, 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 in this area. I also want us to reduce government expenditure. I want us to do smart spending. So far, government tries to do everything. But I believe in the private sector. I believe that if government leverages on the private sector, we can do even much more. Why do I say this? I've led the digitalization in Ghana so far. But I've, we've been successful in the digitalization because it's the private sector that has led it. It's not the public sector. They have spent the money. Ghana Card is a private sector that has led it. Digital Address, the same thing. E-Pharmacy, the same thing. Ghana.gov, the same thing. Private people, if there is an incentive, they will spend the money and you will get the benefit. And so I want us to reduce government expenditure so that if it is about building dormitories or hostels or whatever, tell the private sector, if you build it, we will rent it from you. They will build it and we will rent it from, from you and then we will be able to, to get that. So we, we, once we do that, you want to buy buses, why go and pay cash for all the buses? Lease the buses and pay a little over time and get everybody to, to have the buses. So you don't need to go and pay cash and not be able to buy buses and you're waiting to accumulate all the cash before you buy. But you don't need to do that. Let's think in the terms of credit and allow the private sector to help us. We are going to really make sure that our natural resources are maximized. You know, we are formalizing the, 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 the small-scale mining sector, making sure that there is responsible mining, building a lot of community mining schemes, and, and helping them. I want to set up a minerals development bank that will help the mining sector. I believe that the indigenous mining sector can also grow to be large-scale miners and mine responsibly without having to go into water bodies to destroy our environment. We need to regulate them, and I think that that is the, the, the way that we are going to do. So, ladies and gentlemen, these are the reasons. I'm not saying we have done everything. We are still facing challenges. You see challenges that we are facing recently on the exchange rate, recently on the power outages, but we are going to deal with all of these problems. I don't have any doubt in my mind. We see problems, we solve them. And so we are going to solve the challenges. But we have a vision. I have a vision for Ghana. I believe in possibilities. I want you to give me the chance to change this country, for us to work together. God bless you. Thank you very, very much.